This episode is sponsored by NordVPN. Dear smokers, okay, I know vaping has been in the news a lot and for good reason, I mean, it's causing a new lung disease, but today I wanna to address cigarette smokers about something specific that kinda drives me insane and it's this. Now, I'm not just here to rip on smokers, but I do wanna talk about your cigarette butts and what happens when you throw them on the ground like there isn't any consequence because I see them literally everywhere. It turns out that 75% of cigarettes are discarded on the ground as opposed to being disposed of properly, which means that 4.5 trillion cigarette butts are being thrown on the ground every year. Honestly, I can't even comprehend a trillion sometimes, but it would take you 31,000 years to count to a trillion if every single number took you one second to say. But put another way, it's 142,000 cigarette butts on the ground every second, which makes cigarettes the single most common form of litter on the planet. Now, before we even get into the science, if you live in a major city, there's usually receptacles for this everywhere, like this one back here, where you can dispose your cigarette. But for some reason, almost half the smokers I know didn't even realize this and ironically you can usually find cigarette butts within a few feet if not right under them so why are we even okay with this I mean if we saw people throwing garbage on the ground we'd probably be like that's bad but for some reason cigarette butts get a pass now you might be saying but it's harmless isn't it biodegradable and good for the environment no Cigarette butts aren't biodegradable. They're made of plasticized cellulose acetate, which doesn't mean that they'll stay whole forever. The sun and the elements will break them down, probably over the course of about a decade, which just means that they end up in the soil or getting washed up in water and contributing to water pollution. Oh, and by the way, cigarette filters don't actually do anything. They were created as a marketing ploy to make people feel like they were protecting themselves, when studies actually show that they do not make smoking any healthier. In fact, cancer rates have increased since they began using them. But Used cigarettes aren't just wasted plastics. They contain carcinogens like nicotine and other toxins like arsenic. This not only has a severe impact on plant and vegetation growth, but one study found that a single cigarette butt soaked in water was enough to kill half of the fish exposed in that tank. One single cigarette butt. And if you won't do it for the environment or for fish, consider doing it for kids or good boys like this, yeah, who are constantly putting stuff in their mouths, including cigarette butts. Cigarettes are also responsible for around 90,000 fires every year, making them the number one cause for fire-related deaths. But it doesn't stop in your home. Around 90% of forest fires are also caused by humans, of which some of that comes from negligent cigarette disposal. However, I don't want to place all the blame on smokers because the truth is that the cigarette industry has fought really hard to not be held responsible for the amount of waste and cost it takes to clean up. And while many other industries have been assigned extended producer responsibility, which means that they have to deal with the mess that their products create, the cigarette industry has avoided this at all costs. And what's worse, as places continue to ban smoking from indoors, a study in Britain actually found a 43% increase in cigarette littering. So look, smoking is your own choice, but it's not the environment's. So just be a good person and take responsibility of your cigarette butts like you would with other trash. And if there's nowhere to put it right now, just hold on to it until you can dispose of it properly. Now, if you're looking for a type of filter that does actually work, today's sponsor, NordVPN, actually filters your online activity so you can maintain your privacy. NordVPN is a virtual private network, which means it not only works to mask your identity online, but it also encrypts your internet traffic. By allowing you to connect to thousands of different servers in over 61 countries, you can avoid unwanted eyes seeing what you're searching for or getting access to your private information. I've been using NordVPN now for a few years, and it has extremely fast servers, and they even have an app for Android and iOS so your other devices can be secure as well. And it's just nice to know that your information isn't gonna get hacked at any moment. And thankfully, NordVPN is offering 70% off a three-year plan to our viewers for a limited time if you go to nordvpn.com slash ASAP. This makes their subscription literally $3.49 a month, which is pretty sweet. And on top of that, if you go soon, you can use our code ASAP for an extra month free as well. So make sure to go check it out at nordvpn.com slash ASAP. Thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time for some more science. See ya.